Well, there are many youngsters who are using their spare time in a productive way. Lloyd Allen reports tonight on the so-called Karate Kids. I'm growing up. I was a wayward child growing up. And I was sent to my father, who was transferred to Grand Bahama senior police officer. It sort of straightened me up. Founder of the White Dove Martial Arts Institute, Sensi Randy Johnson, says it was a consistent degree of discipline and training during his formative years that propelled him into now running his own center for kids. Nestled in the heart of the Seneville community, every other Sunday, Johnson and his Kohei, or students, meet to perfect their skills in the art of karate and also life. The children that are in this program, most of them are from the ghetto. They're from around the Plantall Street, Centerville area, areas like that, where the crime rate is really high. So this organization um, is being used to inspire these young boys and girls to stay away from crime. Johnson adds that many of the lessons toward high standards and self-respect that he gained from his father, he has molded now in this group of young people. We try to motivate them to do their schoolwork, their studies. I visit the schools sometimes. If they're not doing what they ought to do at home, the parents would call me, I'd go and visit the home, and sometimes I punish, I get push-ups in the home. Youngsters, Renicia and Rick, say the program continues to benefit them both personally and toward their future goals. I joined this program like three years ago. It's helped me through a lot, helped me learn how to, how to defend myself. Me, when I saw other people joining it, I joined. It doesn't just help me learn how to defend myself physically, but how to defend myself spiritually. At first, I was a follower, but now I'm a leader because of this program. And it's programs like the White Martial Arts Institute and Youth Organization that continue to inspire hope in the hearts of tomorrow's leaders. Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.